My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am viewing Mega Mare by Auto Parity. I love the name. She's a right Mega Mare. So that sounds like to me. This is 145 pounds for 50 mil. I'm very excited to review this one. I tested it on everyone in the factory, but didn't test it on myself. So I have some, all of that stuff. Both inspired and dedicated to the sea, the Mega Mare Parfum is a gorgeous aquatic fragrance from avant-garde perfumer house meant for both women and men. This, I can't even read that word, which features a note of ambergris, sea cucumber, oh dear, and seaweed, oh dear, sea cucumber. Comes in a sleek bottle, its lid is corroded by salt water, very cool, inlaid with glimmering seashells, oh. Keynotes are ambergris, sea cucumber, and seaweed, sea cucumber. Do we have our bottles of Mega Mare? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So this apparently is the strongest citrus fragrance in the world. I tested it in the factory so I could ask them the next day what they thought of it, what was the sillage, what was all that like of it. I have not tested it. I'm very interested to see what it does on my skin. Citruses don't work on my skin. What works on my skin is sweet, vanilla, oody, rose fragrances. Citrus fragrances don't work. And interestingly, I went to London with a friend and he will supernova, I will supernova. On him, it was insane. I was just like, oh my God, that's so strong. On me, I couldn't smell it. I go as nosmic to citrus-based fragrances. I can smell all the raw materials, but when they're combined on my skin, I can't smell them. So I'm very, very curious. I love all the uh, sea thing, but sea cucumber. I'm a little, and I'm a little bit nervous, I've got to say, because apparently people were saying, I try not to read anything uh, of these fragrance sites. But with this one, it was like, I put some fragrance on and I went in a lift and it filled the lift and I couldn't get it off for three days. And you should spray it in the air and walk into it because it's so strong. And I'm kind of thinking, oh, is this ever gonna come off my skin? And somebody in work said, he kept smelling it and it was annoying him. And that was a comment that was there. It's so strong, it's kind of annoying. And the other one said, we can you smell it? So I'm gonna do one spray because apparently it's just like gonna be insane. So it's not what I thought. I honestly thought it was gonna be this wall of fragrance and I thought it was just gonna be like ah this sort of thing I think they should need to get in the sun I, I think that's the thing and I know I know it has longevity from whatever what he said I can smell it so I can get the CR so I think your skin needs to heat up I think you need to get it in the sun so this smells really artificial and there's nothing wrong in that so I'm gonna say that straight off because there's all different styles of perfumery this smells like what my lab smells like like the strongest aroma chemicals chosen to give you that sort of like strong thing. And I can smell it as my arm's moving. So this is the strongest raw materials that have that sort of designed to be accelerating, designed to aid in projection, designed to be quite strong or very strong. And all of them are generally sort of the amber raw materials. And they all of them have a metallic chemical smell to them, and that is their nature. So you have cashmarin, you have nolimbanol. Nolimbanol is my favorite. Cashmarin I don't really like, actually, but in stuff I like it. And then you have Amber Max, and then you have your Amber Extreme, and then you have your Umbrona side. All of these things are so strong. You also have musks, which at high amounts give you clean and sharpness and that is brettolite. So then you have the raw material that you're going to detect to give you that C thing is calone. I've got two forms. I've got a powder and I've got a liquid and calone I re is really at high amounts. I really, really don't like it. I don't take it above a certain percentage. So I use it in Odyssey at the moment and next year I've got a blue one which I've been working on. So I'm hoping will be the strongest blue one I've designed. But calone in high amounts gives you this effect. This is actually quite nice. I was expecting it to be like from the reviews. So like with people ripping their hair off and running down the hallway and setting themselves on fire to get rid of the smell and scrubbing and all this stuff. I was expecting it to be offensive. It's actually really nice. So once you get past all the ambers, once you get past the, the nolimbanol, once you get past the musk, the calone, you're going to fruit molecules to give it that sort of like fruity edge. It's quite nice. 
I quite like it. It's quite flat though. So this is not, in this aspect, this is not built upon Isu Super Hedion. A lot of these raw materials are powders, solids, semi-solids. So you're building it on a base of fat. You're not using solvents. So you just straight into it. So this has got your bit of sort of natural sandalwood and a little bit of lemon. If you kind of like very strong artificial chemistry lab smelling stuff. That's kind of what it's, it reminds me of my lab. I consider my perfume lab a chemistry lab. It smells like this, but it's quite eloquent. I quite like it sort of over here. I was quite apprehensive of spraying it on my skin. And the way it's constructed, I know it's not gonna come off the skin. That's why you shouldn't read reviews. This is kind of why you shouldn't go on these frag sites and have a look because people are very dramatic and their opinion is the only opinion that matters because they have a thousand bottles of fragrance but it's kind of not what I thought. So I'm gonna, I suppose this is like first opinions. It's very nice. It's uh, strong in the sun. This would be lovely. I think it's lovely smelling. I like the cucumbery sort of smell to it, but I'm a little bit disappointed. I gotta say, because I was expecting it to be crazy. So let me talk about how I had to sort of improve upon it. I would have sacrificed the insane longevity because this is, this is gonna go on for more initial sort of like lift. That's kind of how I would have done it. I would have taken sort of the structure and I would have added, I would have based it upon Hedion, Isu Super, Acetates. I would have given it that sort of base, but then built the core around it. And I think I would have had something a bit more lively. And my skin is smelling quite flat and dead. And I think you need to get in the sun. I think you need to heat up. I need to do some activity before it starts coming off. But the longevity is going to be, you know, going on and on and on. I am reviewing a lot of this house. I think I did the burger something, which was Java now base. They use really strong aroma chemicals. I also prefer in fragrances to have much more naturals. And in citrus fragrances, I like citrus based fragrances. I like a lot of citruses. When you base fragrances upon Hedion and you have that sort of 30% sort of citruses, sort of naturals, you get a really eloquent smell. And I prefer that, to be honest with you. But the flip side to that is you don't get that sort of insane longevity. But personally, I prefer that. But I like it. I think it's not as scary as I thought. And really, I mean, I always think if you're interested about a fragrance, go and try it. Don't read these reviews and don't buy it. Don't buy decants either. You don't know if someone's, you don't know what it is. And there's a lot of dishonest people out there. Go and try this and go and wear it. I think it's one of them you need to try. And I think this whole range I think you need to try and wear. It's really nice. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. If it had insane initial sort of, if it was built, like I said, I would give it much higher because I actually really like it. I think it's very nice smelling, but I would love it sort of constructed and heady own and with some, with some citruses. I kind of think it would be awesome then. Each their own. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope staying safe and well. See you soon.